In this video, we're having a look at an example using the quadratic formula. So we want to solve the equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 8 equals 0. We're going to use the quadratic formula shown below to find an x value or values that make that equation true. So the first thing we'll do is make sure that we line up the values in our formula with the correct values in the equation. So looking at the equation, we've shown the coefficient of x squared in purple, and that represents the a value. The coefficient of x in orange, and notice that the sign of negative does belong to the 5, and that's the b value. And we've got the constant at the end of the equation in green, that's the c value. So we go through now and substitute those values into our formula, being careful that we make sure that we substitute in the negatives correctly. So for example, at the start of the quadratic formula, it is the negative of negative 5. Working out those values in the formula, we can see that the negative of negative 5 is 5. Negative 5 all squared is 25. The product of 4, 2 and negative 8 is negative 64. And the denominator becomes 4. The only simplification required in the next step is inside the square root. So it's 25 minus negative 64, which is basically like performing an addition. So 25 add 64 is 89. Now at this point, we may wish to find an exact solution, which means leave it in square root form. But what we'll do in this example is we'll actually determine the square root of 89 using a calculator, and that comes to approximately 9.43. So we're going to find two solutions. It's 5 plus 9.43 or 5 minus 9.43, both divided by 4. We'll show the solution now. And what you can see is that the solution in blue is representing when we do the addition on the numerator. So 5 plus 9.43 all divided by 4. And the orange solution of negative 1.11 represents when we do the subtraction on the top line. So those two values provide the solution to the equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 8 equals 0.